if you have one of these Asus Zenbook Pro Duo 15s or model number UX582H and your SSD isn't showing up in the Windows installation, there's two ways you can do it. One way is you get the Intel Rapid Storage Driver, which is some nonsense. Don't even bother doing that. But if you do get it, you'd go into Load Driver here and you would have to actually browse your folders and find it. Yeah, don't bother with that, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to do it the right way, okay? Because the Intel whatever stuff is nonsense. All right, we're gonna be pressing F2. You wanna make sure this light is off. If this light is on, then you have to hold the function key while you're pressing F2, okay? There we go. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go to advanced mode, which is F7, so press F7. We're gonna go into the advanced settings, go all the way down, and we're gonna go to VMD setup menu, and the VMD controller, we're gonna turn that off, okay? For the people that think we're slowing down the performance or whatever, VMD is if you have two SSDs or yeah, or if you have a special Intel Optane drive. So turning this off isn't going to do anything. Okay, so we're going to save this, say OK, and then we're going to press F2 again to go into the boot options or the BIOS again. Okay, and then we're going to start up the, uh, here you go, you press F8 to pick your USB. So I'm going to pick my USB now to boot Windows. Usually most people won't have it set up this way, but I have it set up so I can boot multiple uh, OSs on this one USB. So we're going to wait till it gets back to the disk menu, and you should be able to see the drive now. This usually only affects M.2 SSDs, all right? So I'm going to press Shift-Tab to go next, next, okay, install, agree, next, and now we'll wait to see the disk drives. All right, accept, wait for the disk drives. All right, and now as you can see, we can see the disk drives. So now I'm just gonna clear out the partitions for the M.2 SSD, and then we should be good to go, all right? So that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Sorry for Oreo barking, but yeah. And then once you completely clear out the partitions, just select, or just press enter on the partition on the disk, and it'll automatically start installing Windows. So you have the one terabyte SSD. We're just gonna press enter to go next, and it should now install the Windows. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully it helped. Thanks for watching. Uh, we're gonna install, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.